just 600 miles from the North Pole, and these hardy huskies are raring to go. These two are going over the head. We're here on the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard, one of the most northern inhabited places on Earth. People live side by side with sled dogs, reindeer, and the occasional polar bear. They're all preparing for winter and frigid 24-hour days of darkness. How many dogs do you have? 114. Sled dog operators like Audin Salte are passionate about their job and their Arctic culture. Because when you go into the nature with these guys and it's, it's just quiet and the only thing you can hear is footprints in the snow and the, and the skis of the sled, it's completely silent. But Audin is also aware his world is warming. Winter comes later and leaves earlier each year. And that means instead of using a sled and running in the snow, the dogs, six to a team, are hooked up to a four-wheeled wagon for a tour of the tundra. Even the old tradition of dog sledding is jeopardized by climate change. While the dogs seem happy to pull anything, others in this isolated northern corner notice the climate is changing and worry. Steve Hudson hails from Philadelphia. He now studies weather patterns in the Arctic. Is that cause for alarm in your view? Yeah, it's a, it's a picture of what's coming. It's, uh, things are happening faster here. We knew they would happen faster here, but we're, we're seeing what's happening and the rest of the world's gonna catch up. And the people here have a warning for the rest of the world. Do you feel like you're a little bit of a canary in a coal mine here? In a way, because we'll get the strongest impact from it and it's already happening. And we are trying to make the world aware of this. For centuries, the dog sled represented the only way people here could travel, the only way to reach the outside world. And that's going to be hard if the snow disappears. Today, they fear climate change, caused in part by the outside world, will change the way they live forever. For today, Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Svalbard, Norway. Wow. I've actually been to Svalbard, and... We were there in the spring, so it was right after winter, so there was still a lot of snow on the ground. But there were certain places you can only get to with snowmobiles. And I, I'm just wondering if, if that snow isn't there, how you get from place to place. Those mountains are, have white caps, but you can imagine they would traditionally be just covered, covered. in snow year-round. Yeah. I'm so glad we're doing this story. There's so many of us who had no idea. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a powerful uh, series of the world you're not yes. aware are yeah. impacted. So be sure to catch more of our Climate and Crisis series all this week across NBC News, MSNBC, and NBCNews.com.